Roy Barcroft, a true icon in the entertainment industry, is celebrated for his timeless qualities that make him a legendary figure. Whether it's his powerful presence on screen or his versatility in taking on various roles, he has truly made a lasting impact. As you think about your favorite performance by Barcroft, feel free to share your fondest memory or personal experience related to this classic actor in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the rich history he created over the years. Stay tuned for more interesting facts about Roy Barcroft in the upcoming segments. Watch this video to discover more about the man behind those memorable performances. We're eager to hear your thoughts, so remember to share your stories in the comments. Roy Barcroft, an influential figure in Hollywood during his time, left a lasting impression on the film industry that went beyond his era. He played a crucial role in shaping the Western genre, becoming a recognizable face and a reliable presence in numerous productions. Throughout his career, he portrayed a variety of characters, often taking on the role of villains with a distinctive style. His strong presence and nuanced performances significantly contributed to the success of many films. He became known for his ability to embody the quintessential antagonist, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Barcroft's contribution to Hollywood went beyond the characters he played. He was a dependable actor, known for his professionalism and dedication to his craft. Directors and producers valued his reliability and adaptability, making him a sought-after talent in the industry. As Hollywood evolved, Barcroft's influence remained. He became a symbol of the Western genre, contributing to its popularity and shaping the way audiences perceived characters in those films. His impact on the industry was not limited to a specific era. Instead, it continued to resonate through the years. In addition to his on-screen contributions, Barcroft's legacy includes inspiring future generations of actors. His commitment to his work and his ability to bring depth to even the most villainous characters set a standard that many sought to emulate. In conclusion, Roy Barcroft's influence on the film industry persisted beyond his time. His portrayal of memorable characters and his lasting impact on the Western genre solidified his place in Hollywood history. His influence continues to shape the way audiences perceive and appreciate cinematic storytelling. Roy Barcroft had his film debut as an extra in the movie Mata Hari, marking the start of his cinematic journey. There's some confusion about his birthplace, with some sources claiming Weeping Water TX, which doesn't exist. It's more likely he was born in Weeping Water, Nebraska, and grew up in nearby Crab Orchard. Barcroft shaped his on-screen persona after Harry Woods, a famous villain in movies, even imitating Woods' voice, which differed from his regular speaking voice. In summary, his film journey began with a small role in Mata Hari, and the birthplace confusion likely stems from mixing up Weeping Water, Texas, and Weeping Water, Nebraska. Barcroft's screen persona, inspired by Harry Woods, showcased his dedication to his craft, extending to emulating Woods' distinctive voice. Roy Barcroft, originally named Howard H. Ravenscroft, became well known for playing the bad guy in low-budget westerns during his early years as a freelance actor. His impressive performances caught the eye of Republic Pictures, and in 1943, he signed an exclusive 10-year contract with them. One of his memorable roles was as Captain Mephisto in the serial Manhunt of Mystery Island, which he considered his favorite. Barcroft's career was mainly focused on Western films and serials, where he became a prominent actor. His skills and versatility made him a valuable asset to the industry, and his impact on entertainment continues to be felt. Roy Barcroft, a significant figure in classic Western films, made a lasting impression with his roles. In antagonist characters, he found his place, becoming a familiar face in Hollywood. In the 1948 film Adventures of Frank and Jesse James, he played Pinkerton Detective Finch. His portrayal of a relentless lawman brought depth to the character, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. In one gripping scene, he confronts Jesse James with a stern warning, your days of outlawry are over. Another notable appearance was in the 1949 film Riders of the Whistling Pines. He embodied the quintessential villain, leading a gang of timber thieves, his commanding presence and gravelly voice added authenticity. In a confrontational moment, he delivers a chilling line to the protagonist, you can't stop me, nobody can. Barcroft's talent extended beyond mere villainy. In the 1953 film South Sea Woman, he played a Marine sergeant named Major Abe Cohen. His portrayal showcased versatility, seamlessly transitioning from a menacing antagonist to a stern military figure. He made significant contributions to the Western genre, 
portraying characters that moviegoers love to hate. His performances were captivating, leaving a lasting impact on the cinematic scene. Barcroft's ability to immerse himself in diverse roles showcased his skill as an actor, making him a respected figure in classic Hollywood. In history, Roy Barcroft's roles remain a testament to his skill and dedication. His characters, with their memorable quotes and scenes, continue to connect with audiences, reminding us of a bygone era in cinema. His versatile acting in westerns is remembered by those who appreciate classic films. Roy Barcroft, known for various film roles, played Sheriff Olsen in Man Without a Star. In the movie, he worked alongside George Wallace, who played his deputy. They previously appeared together in the Commando Cody serial, Radar Men from the Moon, with Wallace as Cody and Barcroft as the antagonist Reddick. Before entering the entertainment industry, Barcroft served in the U.S. Army twice. His first stint was during World War I, where he got wounded and later discharged. He served again from 1923 to 1926. After the 1929 stock market crash, he moved to California with his family seeking employment. In 1931, his military background helped him land a role as a soldier in Greta Garbo's film Matahari, marking the start of his acting career. One of his favorite roles was Captain Mephisto in the Republic serial Manhunt of Mystery Island, where he portrayed a reincarnated pirate. He also enjoyed roles in other serials like The Purple Monster Strikes and Haunted Harbor. Throughout his career, Barcroft brought versatility and depth to characters, leaving a lasting impression on the industry. He appreciated roles in serials and made significant contributions. Roy Barcroft, a familiar face in low-budget westerns, earned a reputation as the quintessential bad guy. His mere presence on screen signaled to young audiences that trouble was looming. In these films, it typically took the hero a full 60 minutes to unravel the plot and identify his character as the antagonist. His on-screen persona as a Western heavy was so convincing that in the late 1960s, interviewers expressed surprise upon discovering his charming and friendly nature off-camera. The stark contrast between his real-life personality and his on-screen image showcased his versatility as an actor. Born into a different kind of drama, he joined the U.S. Army during World War I at the age of 15, fibbing about his age. Deployed to France, he experienced the harsh realities of war and was wounded in action by the time he turned 16. Sent home and discharged, his early exposure to adversity shaped his character and resilience. In summary, he is remembered as a dependable antagonist in low-budget westerns, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Despite his on-screen notoriety, off-camera he revealed a person of surprising charm and friendliness, underscoring his skill in portraying characters that stayed with those who watched his films.